Hello and welcome to session 10 of using VBA in PowerPoint 2013 from the ground up. Today we are going to look into a very important topic which is often overlooked. It is important to know about it before we say that we know VBA, right? So today we are going to talk about errors. So error free programs they talk about are actually a myth. You cannot have programs which are entirely error free. Obviously, you can have an error free program when you work on it for a long time, but initially, when you write, whether you are new or old to programming, you will make some errors, right? Okay, so let's look into the various types of errors that we can make in uh, programming with VBA in PowerPoint 2013, right? So, the first type of error that you often see is called a syntax error. Okay, there's something wrong here. The spelling of syntax is wrong. <laughs> okay, so this pretty much gives you an idea of what a syntax error is. Right? A syntax error is where the syntax is written wrongly. So syntax error or compile errors are the first kind of errors that we are going to talk about today. I am writing both together because uh, when you make a mistake in the syntax, you will get the message box in VBA saying it's a compile error. The other type of error that you will get while coding in PowerPoint 2013 are the random errors. So let's move on. We'll get into the VBA editor and uh, do some hands-on to find out different kinds of errors. Okay, so let's move into the VBA editor quickly. Okay, so here we are in the VBA editor. So let's quickly write a subroutine sub types of error okay so let's see one by one what are the different kinds of errors that we can generate here so here we have a slide which is slide number five and we have three shapes in it along with one rectangle box here so we have four shapes in the slide all together so let's try to change the text in the shape one so let's write shape one dot text into three right now let's run this program and see what we get when we run this line we get a message box saying compile error server function not defined this is an example of a compile error where it is unable to find the word shapes here right so if we see the code has not run beyond the name of the subroutine it has stopped here itself and it is showing that the error that we encountered is in this line here right so let's write the correct code let's click here to reset the code and continue okay so let us write the correct syntax we will write active presentation dot slides the slide number is 5 dot shapes so we want to change the text of shape 1 right dot text frame dot text range dot text is equal to suppose a okay now if we run the code it will run and the text will change to a so this is our correct syntax so this is an example of a syntax error or a compile error again the syntax error is nothing but an error which occurs because we have written something a yeah, wrong way both the syntax error and the compile error will occur when we compile the code okay so if you want to find out if there is an error in your code without running the entire code you can also do that so let's uh, write a new sentence saying some mistake saying text frames here right so this is wrong 
so i don't want to run the code and uh, i want to find out if there is an error inside the code that i have written so what i'll do is i'll go to debug and i'll click on compile vba project right when you compile the vba project it compiles the entire project without actually running it and it will find out the error and highlight it right so you can click ok go to the error and fix it so this is an example of a compile error or a syntax error now let's look into the runtime error which we face when the procedure is run so let's say that i want to put today's date into the rectangle that we have since i have added the rectangle at last so it will be the fourth shape that we have in the slide so let's say that we say that the text of the rectangle should be changed to date we'll comment this out since we are not using it and we'll run this program so it gives us the date here in the rectangle right now suppose i do a mistake and in place of writing date i just write dat what happens then right so let's run the code on score and see so the code ran without any error message however the rectangle did not get any date on it right so we want to see how exactly this happened so let's get into the debug mode and step into the program so we'll press f8 right now we are going to run this line of code press f8 again now if you hover your mouse over the date it says that the date is empty right so what the compiler has done is it has taken dat as a variable name and since we have not initialized this variable or you have not given any value to this variable it is showing empty right so it has actually change the text of this rectangle to null because the variable does not contain any value right now right this is why it is showing a blank here however we know that there is an error in the code we did not want it to be blank we wanted it to show the date right and the good thing about this is if you go to your debug and click on compile vb project it will not show you any error right because the compiler is thinking that dat is a variable and it should be there in place right to avoid this what we do is we go to the top of the procedure and we write two words namely option explicit right now when we have this option explicit written on the top of the procedure it looks for all the unidentified words which are considered to be variables and checks their values checks whether they were declared and if they are initialized if the variable is not declared then it will not let you run the program right so now if you go to debug and click on compile vb project it will show you an error think compile error that the variable is not found right earlier when option explicit was not written it considered dat as a variable and it assigned a value null to it now again it considered dat as a variable but it is saying that the variable has to be defined which is actually not done right so that's the compile error okay now if we go and write dat date and then run the code it will again put the date directly on the rectangle okay so this is an option where we can avoid such mistakes while writing the syntax okay okay so now let's uh, look into the other type of error that we talked about the runtime error so in runtime error what happens the error is not found when you are compiling the procedure the error is found only when you run the procedure right so if there is some mistake where 
we have wrongly designated a value to a shape or a or a slide which does not exist then we can get errors like runtime error right so let's see an example so let's write active presentation dot slides let's work on this same slide dot shapes so we know that there are only four shapes in this slide so let's write shape number 10 dot fill dot four color dot theme color equal to pp accent one okay that's a color constant that we have in powerpoint 2013 right okay so we know that there is no shape 10 however if we go to debug and run the compiler it will not give you an error because it thinks that there is a shape called shape 10 so the syntax is correct compilation there is no problem so it's not giving you any error however when you go ahead and run this subroutine it gives you a runtime error right saying integer out of range 10 is not in the valid range of 1 to 4 so it says that you actually have 1 to 4 shapes right and 10 is not in that range that's why you are getting a runtime error right so what you can do is you can either end and find the error ourselves and uh, fix it or click on debug which will take us to the line where the error occurs and you can easily find the error here change it to suppose shape 4 right and then run it again using f8 or f5 however it is recommended that you reset the compiler before running the code again since you have made a change right so we'll press reset or we'll re go to run and reset from here then we'll run the program once more right so see the color of the shape 4 has changed here and there was no runtime error So that's all that we have for this session today. If you have any comments or any questions, please feel free to use the comment section below. We'll be very happy to answer your queries. If you have not uh, subscribed or to our channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel for uh, weekly videos. Please like and share our videos. Keep learning. Take care. Have fun. Bye bye.